Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show how we can use both Node-RED and TensorFlow.js to create a nifty AI application with my Raspberry Pi. The app here uses an object detection model to detect objects in a photo, and if it's a person, we play a sound bite at them. Welcome home. Welcome home. For those that don't know what Node-RED is, it is a flow-based programming tool for wiring together hardware devices, APIs, and online services. It provides a low-code approach for event-driven applications and is built on Node.js. With TensorFlow.js, I can easily run deep learning models in the Node.js runtime on the Raspberry Pi itself. More detailed information about the content in the video is linked in the description below. So let's first take a look at what we have to get started with. Here we have a Raspberry Pi 4 with the Raspbian operating system installed, a USB webcam, and also a USB-powered speaker that connects to the Pi's 3.5mm audio jack. For this example, we want to use Node-RED to create a flow that will allow us to snap a picture with the camera, take that picture and run it through our TensorFlow.js object detection node, and then play a sound file only if a particular object was detected. The flow would look something like this. Here we start with a simple inject node so that we can manually trigger the flow. We then use the USB camera node installed from the NPM package Node-RED Contrib USB Camera. This allows us to easily interface with our USB camera within Node-RED. The snapshot the camera takes will be fed into two nodes. The first being an image output node which comes with the Node-RED Contrib image output package. This is just a simple way for us to preview the image that was snapped. The next is the TensorFlow.js object detection node that was installed from the repository linked in the description. To install it, you only have to run an npm install on the directory containing the node source code. This node leverages the Coco SSD TensorFlow.js pre-trained model and is good for detecting 90 classes of common objects like cars and people. After the image is processed by the model through this node, the detected classes and their bounding box coordinates will be returned. By default, if no model URL is provided to the node, a model on Google Cloud Storage is downloaded. But here, I locally host the model on the Raspberry Pi to eliminate the need for internet access. We feed this output into a function node that will loop through the detected classes array. And if an object of interest was detected, we return true in the output payload and then do something. In this case, we check if a person was detected. And if a person was detected, the switch node will direct the flow to play an audio clip through the attached speaker. To play the audio clip, we use an exec node to execute a system command on the Raspberry Pi. We use the aplay command line utility to play a WAV file located on the device. So let's test it out. First, I try out the flow when the person is not in the shot. Since only a wine glass was detected and no person, no audio was played. Now let's try it where the camera can see me. Get off my lawn. This time you can hear that audio was played because now a person was detected. So that's pretty cool, but it's missing something. Instead of having to manually initiate the flow, let's have something trigger it instead, like a motion sensor. So right here, I have an HCSR501 passive infrared motion sensor. These can be found online for very cheap and are even included in some sensor kits. We just need to connect the power, ground, and output wires to the Pi, and then we can get input from the sensor in Node-RED using a GPIO in Node. We just need to specify what GPIO pin we connected the sensor to. Here, I connected it to GPIO 14, so I would select pin 8 according to the table. This node checks the state of the selected input pin. If it is a 1, motion was detected, otherwise the output is 0. We use the switch node to check if the output is 1, and if it is, we initiate the rest of the flow by triggering the camera. So to me, this is definitely pretty neat. Node-RED provides a platform that is super flexible and extensible. If there is some TensorFlow model you want to use in your IoT setup, you can convert it with TensorFlow.js and easily integrate it with Node-RED. TensorFlow.js even already has several packaged pre-trained models like the object detection I just showed. The strength of these two technologies together is the speed in which you can realize an AI-enabled IoT app like this, experts and beginners alike. So that's it for the video everyone. If you want to learn more, 
please check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.